So I had a student one time that wanted to propose a question to me. And he said, Mr. McLogan, this is what we call an equilateral triangle. I said, yes, you are correct. That is an equilateral triangle. He says, okay, well, can you take this triangle and can you go ahead and partition it into four separate triangles that are going to all have the same area? So they don't have to be congruent. And so it made me think about this. One, how do we know that they have the same area? We don't have any measurements on this, but we do know that the area of a triangle, right, one half, base times height. We do know that at least we need to have like the side lengths either need to be all the same so we have like congruent triangles or we need to make sure that at least the base is the same and the height is the same for us to be able to confirm that they have the same area. One thing that kind of drew my attention, you can already see that the representation of these sides are the same happen at the midpoint. And if I take the midpoint, right, the point that is in the middle of your two like kind of endpoints here, what that does is that takes a side length of the triangle and breaks it up into two equal parts. And if I do that for each side, what I'm doing now is I'm creating sides that are going to be exactly equal. Well, if I take these three midpoints and I now go and connect them, what I want you to recognize here is no matter what the measurement of these sides were going to be, they're all going to create what we call equilateral triangles. So therefore, they're all going to be congruent. And if they're going to be congruent triangles, guess what? They're going to have the same area. So I have one, two, three, Four. A lot of students will come up with this one because you know sometimes it's like one of the easiest ways to break up a triangle into four equal parts. The other triangle is where a lot of students get stuck. And it was the one where I got stuck as well as we we're trying to think about this in class. And so you can draw a triangle really bad. And you can think about this and say, all right, a lot of students want to try to go back to this, you know, frame and like, you know, maybe take something from out here and be able to see, well, maybe you could go something like this. And you're like, ah, oh, crap, that's gonna be three triangles, right? That's not gonna work. So what else can we do? Remember, here's the thing I want you to focus on the base has to be the same. The height has to be the same. So if we go ahead and take a look at a triangle, that's gonna be three, so that's not gonna work. Let's go and draw another triangle here. Now, we could say the height here, you know, from the bottom to the top. So we could say, I have the height the same. What about if I just created the base? What about if I created four different bases? So I say one, two, Three. Now again, remember, they don't have to be congruent. All we need for the areas to be the same is the base to be the same and the height to be the same. So watch what happens now when I take my base and I partition it into four different sections. All these triangles do not look the same. They're not congruent like the triangle I had up here. However, the base is the equal for all of these and height is equal. So therefore, these two examples take this equal out of triangle and partition it into four separate triangles that all have the same area. If you like this video, then you're gonna love the next video I have for you here.